Mayor Solim Simanga's office is embroiled in yet another irregular appointment scandal. Reports have emerged that another senior staffer, Stefan de Villiers, holds a top position without meeting the basic qualification requirements. And this comes after the resignation of the former mayoral chief of staff, Marita Okamp. Patricia Fasahi has the details. 34-year-old de Villiers, executive head in the mayoral office, allegedly only has a physical training qualification despite the post commanding a minimum bachelor's degree. According to reports, de Villiers earns one million per annum. Simanga's office issued a statement about the appointment. The mayor emphasized that political appointments and the requirements for such posts are different from those for municipal officials. Msimanga stressed that de Villiers played a vital role in his administration and is by far the highest qualified. Appointments in political offices are not unusual. They happen in local government, provincial government, as well as national government. The appointment of um, Mr. Stephen de Villiers is one such that is a political appointment because he deals with very crucial and sensitive information in the office of the executive mayor, which relates to um, his diary, his schedule, his logistics. And it's very important that that information be um, entrusted to someone that the executive mayor of the city of Tswane can trust. But the ANC in Tswane is having none of it. They want the mayor to account to the public. The gentleman in question did not meet the criterion. The criterion said, and the advert can be made available on request, upon request any time, that uh, you need to have at least 12 years experience to be able to get at that level. Secondly, uh, solely without even thinking went ahead, the executive mayor, and appointed a white male when there is, Tswane has uh, adopted the policy of employment equity that is applicable all over the country. In the statement, Msimanga says a number of ANC members are also underqualified for certain positions, but are appointed on a waiver, just like the Villiers. Msimanga's former chief of staff, Marietta Okamp, recently resigned under the same discrepancy of being underqualified. Mr. De Villiers was appointed by Ms. Ocamp. Now that tells you a story. Now if Ms. Ocamp presided over the appointment of Mr. De Villiers and Ms. Ocamp was found to herself of being fraudulent in the process, what it, does it say about Mr. De Villiers? Msimanga says the city is already in the process of auditing all positions and looking at different political appointment strategies. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News in Pretoria.